Hey, what is up, everybody? It's RX King, and we are coming back to the tutorial series. I apologize if I sound like I just woke up. It is 8 p.m. my time, and I work night shifts at my job, so I'm on a weird sleep schedule right now. So bear with me. Um, this is the third tutorial in the uh, series, I guess I'm gonna call it, that I'm doing for you guys on the Halo CE mod tools. And the topic of this video today is going to be learning how to add AI into your map. This is fully functioning, walking around, will attack you on site and other AI that are not on the same team. And it will be placed into your map and be ready to go out of the box. So basically I'm going to be going over how to get that set up, how to test it and know if it'll work. And then we're going to do some gameplay. It's going to be super simple, nothing crazy. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for checking into this video. And if you're a returning sub, I really appreciate you guys. Um, I do have some ideas for possibly starting a Patreon to get videos early for you guys. And also to get um, access to some other stuff, I think. You know, maybe some tutorials that I haven't released or decided not to release. Um, things like that. So if you guys would be interested in possibly... Uh, wanting me to do a patreon let me know and I would also like some feedback you know tell me what you guys want to see next on the tutorial series you know maybe it's mapping or something like that how to add fog you know sound whatever um, so yeah we're gonna get into the video if you guys are new to the channel please leave a subscribe it really helps and leave a comment below let me know what you want to what you want to see and what you want to see improved with the channel and then if you're a returning sub I appreciate you. I got much love for you guys. Um, thank you for the support. And yeah, so let's get into adding some AI to our maps. Okay, so before we get started, the first couple of things we need to note is we will be using Sapien and Invaders six shooter GUI for this project. Um, you don't have to do the Invader step, but it is kind of fun just to, to do this. We're gonna be importing a new AI tag from Halo Maps into our map, just to show you that you can use other AI besides the default um, ones that are in the game. But what we're gonna be doing is using Sapien, so that's all you need today, and Invader. If you don't know what Invader is and how to set it up, please refer to my previous video. I'll leave a link in the description to that, um, or I'll put it on the screen, either one. But uh, yeah, refer to the last video, go ahead and watch that, follow the instructions, and then come back to where we are now in the video, and uh, you can just catch up. So, we're going to be opening Sapien, and we're going to be getting started. So let's get to okay, it. Okay guys, so we should be in Sapien at this point, and if you are not, please make sure that you have Sapien open and are ready to follow along. So what we're going to be doing is adding two squads of AI that are going to be fighting each other while fighting us at the same time. So let's get into it. It's going to be super simple. Hopefully you guys will not have any issues with it. If you do, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll help you out as soon as possible. Um, like I said, I'm new to modding still. I'm learning all this stuff and then uploading it as I learn it. So, you know, if there's anything you could advise me with, you know, that'd be awesome. If I do anything wrong or if there's anything you would like to see, uh, just let me know. So. First things first, I've already edited this map. As you can tell, I've been messing with some teleporter tags and some other things. Um, so first things first, what we are gonna do is we are going to set up our first two squads and we are gonna get them to um, fight each other. So I'm gonna pick this as my first squad starting position. So what we're gonna do, open your hierarchy, make the menu drop down, go to AI. We're gonna go to encounters and we're gonna make two new instances. We're gonna kick, click encounter block zero. We're gonna change this to flood. Okay. And we are gonna change this to flood team. And then we're gonna leave everything normal for now. We're gonna name our second encounter. Um, we'll do Marines just to just to do it and we'll switch it to the human team awesome so now we got these both we're gonna push plus on both of these actually we'll do the flood first just so you guys don't get uh, confused so we're gonna do squads and we're gonna do new instance 
boom squad block zero now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this right here under the squad tab we're gonna edit type and we're gonna switch it to actor variant I already have something here for this so we're all set but what you would do is push add we'll go back to our characters folder which should be in your Chell in one folder under tags characters and then you can pick whatever for me this is a flood based team so I'm going to do a flood combat elite and we'll make it unarmed add the tag boom it's in push done push ok awesome so now we have our squad block zero it's all set we're gonna do our starting locations um, actually first before we do the starting location when you click squad block zero make sure you set your actor type for this one it's gonna be the com combat elite unarmed we're gonna make the initial state moving randomly return state moving randomly we're gonna make sure automatic migration is checked and we're gonna leave all of that so for this you're going to want to do exactly like I do it. We're going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W. Don't ask me why. This is what I was told. So we're going to set this for all of these. You don't need to do pursuing, but make sure the rest of these are the exact same. Just copy paste them. No big deal. We're going to do normal difference count and insane difference count to one. We are going to do respawn total five and we are going to respawn minimum one. And now nah, we'll just leave. Yeah, we'll do these at one. Actually, we'll just leave them at one for now. Or now nah, we'll make it interesting. We'll do one, two, four. Yeah, one to four. So with that, Basically, it means that the minimum amount of AI that can spawn after it's killed is one and the max that can spawn is four in one squad. So that's all. We're going to leave the delay to zero seconds so they respawn right away. And we are going to set our starting positions to be right here. We'll just put three of them. You don't have to put three. You can put one or two or whatever you would like. And then for move positions, we'll put a bunch down until they go to the middle. So about like that. That looks good. And then firing positions, we are going to put down a bunch of them. So boom, 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 boom. Just throw firing positions all up in this. Doesn't matter. You can put more or less it's it's not really uh too specific i'm just throwing them down to have them there so we've got our moving positions and our start positions and our firing positions now we are going to do the exact same steps but with the marine squad so we're going to go to squads new instance open up the squads tab edit the type we're going to go to actor variant i'm going to add my marines in Go to characters I will do marine armored and we will do shotgun marines because they're fighting flood so we'll add him we'll wait for sapien to load give it a sec if it freezes it's all good cool and then we are gonna do a marine assault rifle boom done awesome now we're gonna set the actor type for this one to marine shotgun major initial state moving randomly return state moving randomly uh, automatic mig migration is checked again we want to have these placed here exactly like so make sure all of them are the exact same normal difference count one insane difference count one or difficulty sorry I was saying difference but it's actually difficulty that is for normal is easy or normal mode I believe and then insane is legendary difficulty that would be for single player um respawn minimum actors one 
Respawn max actors will do five. Um, respawn total we will set to five. And then that will be zero and zero. Cool. Now we're going to do our starting positions, which will be right here. Boom. 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 Our move positions, we'll do boom, boom, boom. Just add a bunch, whatever you feel like putting down. And then we're going to do our firing positions so they can start shooting over here. Awesome. Looks good. Okay, so with that, our AI should be set up. So what we're going to do now is save the scenario. And we are going to reopen Sapien and see if our changes took effect. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the AI. They are walking around, doing their thing. One thing I did forget to mention, um, I'm so sorry. Um, I forgot out a crucial, crucial detail. But, um, oh, look at them go, dude. Clap in the flood. Look at that. Oh, my God. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, you guys. Uh, super important. If you want your AI to show up, you're going to have to do this. If you don't do this step, they will not show up in your game. So, this is my fault. I should have done this in the previous section, but I just forgot. So, when you go to squads, um, when you go to your moving positions, or I mean your starting positions i apologize when you're doing your starting position you want to make sure that your actor type is set to whatever enemy or ai that you want to spawn there so for this one let's say this starting location is you know these two are elite unarmed right if i wanted to i could change this one to um you know flood combat human unarmed or flood human assault rifle just make sure you have your actor type set on your starting locations so same thing for the marines i did the same thing squads squads block zero and then starting locations you click on your starting location you set your actor type and bada bing bada boom you're all good to go so this is a basic tutorial on ai with this you can make huge battles you can make small ones um just to show you guys that it works i'm gonna load into the map and then we will uh we'll check it out i also threw in a cool little speaker tag that you can put custom sound in so at the end of this video i will add that as a little bonus tutorial on how to uh, add custom music or sounds or whatever to your map it's really fun it's a cool neat little thing but uh yeah let's load into the map and see how it goes i'll catch you guys there and as you can see our ai has loaded into the game there they go oh jesus but yeah our ai works it is in the game i'm getting my cheeks clapped But it works. So that is the basics. Um, it pretty much is just as simple as that. I think it's pretty cool that the mod tools allow us to do this. But uh, anyways, this is adding AI to your to your map. If you guys would like to stay for the uh, special little add-on that I'm going to do for the end of the video, you're more than welcome to. If not, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you. Hopefully you guys can get some AI into your maps now. Let me know if you want to see more videos or uh, what other tutorials you would like to see. You know, maybe I'll get into some map making stuff or not. By the way... Um, this dude, Butter Apple 24 makes really, really good map tutorial videos, so if you're interested in making some custom maps, I will leave a link to his channel in the description. I really recommend you go and watch his videos. Dude is really in 
really smart when it comes to making stuff. He's got 3D modeling experience. So, if you want to make some custom maps, go ahead and head over to his channel. And, uh, yeah. So, I will catch you guys in the next video, unless you're staying for the extra little bonus tutorial part. See you guys later. Okay, so super quick thing, I thought it was super neat, um, and it works for, you know, if you're doing like an urban map, maybe like a street or a neighborhood or a house or something, you can have this playing as you walk by a certain area, or you can have it play throughout the entire map, but this tag is a stereo system, I thought it was super cool because you can change the song that plays from it by creating a sound tag and then making a sound looping tag, which I can go into in another video. Um, but if you guys would like, this is a quick little tutorial on just downloading the tag and importing it into your, uh, your tags folder. Super simple. All you're going to do is click download. I already have it downloaded. I'm going to go down to my stereo system, excuse me, stereo system zip, and I'm going to open my Chellin one folder. Boom. I'm going to go to tags. I'm gonna go to scenery, I'm gonna open this, and then drag this on in. That's all you gotta do. I have the uh, stereo already installed, so I'm not gonna be replacing the files. It's not gonna ask you to replace anything. But uh, yeah, and you can, open the, you can open up Sapien, you can throw this on in your level, and by default, it will play the Halo soundtrack. So if you want some Halo music in your map, there you go. Super little quick thing I thought was neat. I'll leave a link to the uh, the tag in the description of the video. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. Let me know which uh, tutorials you'd like to see next. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.